Hi Capricorn, welcome to your March 28th to April 4th reading. I am Charlene Lizette. If you are new here, hey, hi, how's it going? If you're returning, a massive thank you to you. As always, I hope you click subscribe and you become a part of our collective. If you haven't already, if you have, thank you, I love you. All right, let's see what's going on for you this week. We do have Aries new moon. I will be very blunt with you because I have an Aries stellium, but also because I've been doing all the readings, I'm almost done. And every single reading so far has had some act of uh, what I call tarot violence, like the aggressive tarot cards have come out. Five of wands, seven of wands, five of swords, like people, oh, nine of wands. People are, <laughs> swear to God, the dower. Okay, let's see what you're, uh, what you're letting go of. All right, the king of pentacles, I can't make this shit up, you all. Like, I really can't, man. I really, really can't. This has... <laughs> Aries is here. Oh, my God. Um, I think you're... Honestly, if you are self-employed, I think you're letting go of some employees this week. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There might be some uh, challenges at work with your business partners or your employees or colleagues if you work in an office environment. I think this is about you understanding that maybe for some of you, some cycles have definitely come to an end here with some people. Mm, yeah, there's more balance here. Oh, okay, look, you got to trust your intuition here. There's clearly something that you're like releasing, dumping, letting go of. You have to trust your intuition in the decisions that you're making this week. I think you know. I think as I'm sharing this with you, you know, you might be like, oh, I already know what it is that I need to let go of. For some of you, there is going to be a shift in your career and your finances. It's here, okay? Either letting go of one work for another or or fighting for, for what is right and just in your career and around your finances. Like, um, I, you know, if you've been like um, pushed aside for a promotion or something like that, like you're like, no, 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 no. I'm a fucking goat, okay? Remember who I am. Thank you so much. Uh, here you are starting something fresh. Um, you know, there's a lot of hope. There's a lot of excitement. <laughs> you know, it's so funny. Okay, so when, in my tarot intensive, I teach tarot classes. Uh, every two months I host a course. So if you've been wanting to learn how to read tarot, take a look at the description box below. You can enroll for the end of May course. In tarot, I always say to look at the cards, okay? And actually look at the people in the cards because they tell you a lot. So we start off with the tower for you. We move to the king of pentacles, the five of wands, and look at the fool. The fool's walking into this going, la la la, I'm here to create chaos. Like you are here to, you don't care. You do not give a flying, okay, what, um, what happens because you're standing up for yourself. You're like, I am going to fight for myself. I'm going to stand up for myself. I'm going to advocate for myself. And I don't, I really could care less what, 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 what happens here. Somebody doesn't like it too bad. They need to understand that no one tramples over Capricorn. Like that's your vibe. Your vibe is so powerful here. You may have to walk away from some things. This might be like an alternative situation, an alternate situation. What? An, oh, yeah, you like, sorry, I should say this better. You may have an alternative, like it might have to be you choosing between path A and path B here with that eight of cups, okay? You may have to pick a different route, a different direction. You may have to find a, uh, a like role, a position elsewhere. This seems very business related and ironically so because you're Capricorn, so you like to focus on your abundance and your money. Um, but to me, this makes me feel like some somewhere along the way, you're not being treated with respect, with dignity, with kindness. And this is the week where you're like, I'm not standing for this bullshit anymore. No, thank you so much. And good for you. Honestly, good for you for standing up for yourself, all right? Uh, I think everyone should stand up for themselves. All right, let's... Um... Let's see what's going on with the astrology for you. Vesta, devotion. Are you devoted to yourself? Yeah, a lot of people have been getting the devotion card too. And you got vertex at the bottom, which is karmic point, faded connections, turning point, sinistry. So there is something here that's happening. And it may feel a little bit tumultuous, all right, as you are going through it. But at the end of the day, what it's going to offer you is some type of beautiful balance, some type of uh, peace, okay? And finally, this ability to... Um, to stand up for yourself, honestly, like that's really what this boils down to. Change. I understand that nothing can evolve or grow without movement. 
Yeah, it's so obvious here for you, okay? Look, we're gonna get into your love reading now, Capricorn. If you like using crystal amulets to support you in your journey and this reading is resonating with you, I'm gonna recommend some crystals for you and also crystal amulets for my jewelry collection. This is Starseed Jewels. I design all the jewelry, I make it, and my assistant helps me make them and ship them out for you right here in the office. Uh, two pieces I would recommend for you, regardless of your gender, okay, would be Vulcan and Athena, all right? Uh, Vulcan, as you can see, is a little bit of a bigger uh, piece. It's got black tourmaline, garnet, and red tiger eye, and Athena has um, garnet and strawberry quartz. Both of these uh, uh, designs are created to help fuel you, empower you, and support you and fire you up to go after what you deserve. Okay, let's get into this love reading here. If you want to join the Tarot Intensive and become a professional tarot reader, take a look at the description box below, all right? Let your friends help you. Flirt. We'll pull some uh, some tarot. True love. Oh, the smiles. I love love. Who watched Bridgerton? Drop it in the comments if you watch Bridgerton. <sighs> Mrs. Sharma and Lord Bridgerton. <laughs> It's like such a beautiful love story, isn't it? I binged. I'm done watching it. Okay. Uh, let your friends help you accept for and uh, ask for and accept support from others. Nine of swords. Okay. Yeah. You might need uh, your friends help this week a lot. Okay. There might be a lot of like mental anguish or uh, feeling very like jolted mentally. F flirt. Extend your light hearted energy to others. Uh, Knight of wands. Yeah. I think what you, ooh, ooh, what was that? That was weird. I think you might be taking things a little bit too seriously, to be honest, and you might, uh, this might be a week where you need to go have a little bit of fun with your friends, okay? And true love, this is the romance of a lifetime. The sun. For some, a ten of pentacles. For some of you, um, yeah. There's going to be some love here. You know what? Actually, I was seeing this before, especially with the vertex, because it's the sinistry and the karmic points. For some of you, it could very well be that um, you end up meeting somebody at this new role or as this transition happens in your life from your career, and they end up being the person you spend the rest of your life with. Ooh. Hence why Bridgerton was coming up for me. Maybe. I don't know. Okay. All right. If you want to shop at Cersei Jewels or enroll in my tarot intensive, take a look at the description box below. Either way, thank you so much for all your support. I'm so immensely grateful for all of you. We'll see you later, alligator. Peace out. Bye.